Hello everyone and welcome to this video of SAFE. I'm Valentin and I'm sitting here with my colleague Akshay. Hi Valentin. Hi Akshay. And today we want to talk about ERP7702, an ERP that ships with the next Ethereum hard fork, Pectra, which is scheduled for next year, 2025. So Akshay, what does ERP7702 bring to the Ethereum protocol? So EIP7702 allows EOA accounts to be converted into smart accounts. So meaning that the EOA accounts can also now batch multiple transactions and actions like allowing the spender and uh, swapping tokens into one single transaction. EOA accounts can have sponsored transactions, which was not possible before this upgrade. Um, EOA accounts now can give permissions to DAP to execute multiple actions on, on the account's behalf without having each uh, tra action being approved by the account. Amazing. So ERP7702 basically allows an EOA to be supercharged with the superpowers that smart accounts currently have. And this allows incredible use cases, like for example, giving granular control to a DAP that can automate the dollar cost averaging into a token where you invest a certain amount every week. It also allows session keys where you can log into a game with your EOA and you don't have to sign any transactions while you play. You can think about use cases like automated staking or automated liquidity provision into an Uniswap LP. All of this becomes possible because EOAs now can access the features that smart accounts currently have exclusively. And you actually brought a POC that we want to talk about in this video. What will we see in this POC? In this POC, we will see that how an EOA can be converted into say smart account and uh, an EOA can get, have a sponsored transaction with multiple actions batched together. Batched relays. Batch and relay. Before we dive into the code, let's have a short conversation about the setup that you chose for the 7702 say smart account implementation. The setup here we have now is designed such that users have to sign only once that is signing an authorization message and they don't have to sign the init data uh, again. Uh, this is this provides a better UX to the users um, and how it works is that address of the proxy is dependent on the init data. So user uh, signs the authorization to a proxy and the address of the proxy depends on the init data. So kind of we are killing two birds in one shot. So usually the 7702 conversion would require two transactions. First to add the address of the delegation designator and the second one to initialize the smart account because the smart account is only a smart contract and it has to be initialized with the owners and the thresholds and all the other settings. Good. Correct. With 7702, uh, the EIP only specifies providing the authorization, but it doesn't specify how the init data need, can be executed. It's up to the wallet developers to decide on how to verify the initializer data. Perfect. And by signing the authorization data with the address dependent on the init data, this all gets done in one signature. Yes, and then we can have uh, sponsored transactions to set up the storage of the EOA hmm. and a seamless UX for the users. The EOA owner doesn't even have to have guests. Correct. Perfect. So what this enables is basically the owner of an EOA can sign this transaction in the wallet and then can basically access the EOA as a smart account in the safe wallet UI. That's the end goal. Not ready yet. <laughs> but that's what we aim for. Perfect. So let's have a look how you did this in the code. Okay. Yeah. I, can we record the beatbox now? Do you want to do it again? Okay, cool. Patch and relay. Patch and relay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> don't, don't post this. <laughs> Amazing. So let's have a look. Akshay will guide me through the process of setting up the repository on my local machine. I've never touched the code before. And you can follow along and experiment with 7702 with this POC. Yeah, let's get started. Yes. Okay, Akshay. This is a repository that is public that you can access at home. I'm going to clone it on my local machine.
And this repository is a mono repository with three main folders. So the first main and important uh, component is the contracts. It contains uh, the contracts that are required for converting an EOA into smart, a safe smart account. Primarily, it has a proxy contract and a proxy factory, which has been customized uh, specifically for EIP 7702. Other components are like a UI and a backend, uh, which is still in development and would be usable uh, after some time. But right now, we will just focus on the contracts. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to open the contracts in my code editor. So here's the contracts folder in my code editor. And I guess I'm going to pmpm install. What is the first step I do with this repository? Uh, after installing the dependencies, you need to uh, set up the environment variables, uh, which contains a private key of the account, which would be converted into a safe smart account, and a private key, which will be used for sponsoring transactions. Right. So I guess I copy and paste the env.sample, and I call it .env. Is this correct? Yeah. .env. And here I see the relayer private key, which I guess should be an EOA account with some ETH. Right. It should have some native ETH balance, uh, which is required for paying the gas. And this is the account private key, which is the private key of the EOA we want to convert to a smart account. Correct. Perfect. Um, Let's have a look at the hardhead config because there's something important. So this hardhead config uh, readily has configurations available for using Pekta DevNet and we will use the same so we need not set up any RPC URLs here because it's already done for you. Perfect. So the 7702 feature for ERP is not available on the Sepolia test site yet because it's not released but it's available on the Pectra DevNet and we are using the Pectra DevNet, which is already pre-configured in our hardhead config with this URL, I assume? Yes, correct. Perfect. So the next step we do is to fill out these private keys. So what we did now is we added two private keys to the end file. We will not show the end file now. And what we also did is we used the faucet like this one to mint some Pectra ETH on the DevNet because most probably you will not have testnet ETH. So now we are ready to use the POC. Akshay, what are the next steps? So the first step that we'll do is send a type 4 transaction through a relayer in which there will be an authorization which will be signed by the EOA account who wants to be converted into a smart account. So the EOA signs an authorization and the relayer executes the transaction and converts the EOA to a smart account. Right, correct. And let's just do it now. Okay, let's do it. So I open source scripts one set code and this file has some imports. A setup function, what does it do? Uh, so the setup function imports uh, the default addresses to which the contracts are deployed and uh, this information is required for deriving the address of the proxy to which the account will uh, delegate to. Right, so this is basically the safe smart contracts that we deploy on every chain to make sure every user gets the same safe address on every chain. Right, uh, th this information is like the address of the singleton, fallback handler address, some modules that you want to be enabled by default. And these are right now de deployed on the Pectra DevNet, which we are using for our demo purposes. If they are not deployed, uh, you can just deploy them using the deploy scripts, which are ready for you. Perfect. But we don't need this now. We only need the main function. Right. Um, you can see in the main function that we have a bunch of imports. We calculate the proxy address, um, calculate the set of data, and then uh, the user signs the authorization message, which then gets relayed. 
in one transaction and then there is one more transaction to set up the uh, storage of the account. Right. So here we have some imports. Then we have the init data. We set one owner of the safe, which is the delegator, the EOA. So it's a one out of one safe, which is not advisable from a security standpoint, but it is advisable from a learning standpoint. So please only do this for this tutorial. We set up some fallback handler here, and then we calculate the proxy address with all this ENI data. Then we deploy this proxy, and then we set the authorization and send this with the relayer. Wait, what does this line do? This line executes the transaction which contains the authorization. Right, and what does this line do? Uh, this line that executes another transaction which will set up the storage of the EOA. Perfect. So, how can we run the script? Uh, the instructions to run the script are available in the readme. Just go over to readme and you can copy the instructions from there. Right, so I guess this one. Yeah. So I copy and paste this into my terminal and run it. Yeah. So, as you can see, we ran this command uh, a second time because the first transaction didn't go through. So this is why we see the message proxy already deployed. And the important messages come here. We set the authorization and then we have some storage slots very close to the metal. What do these th say? So these are the storage slots of the EOA account. You can see the storage slot zero, which stores the address of the safe singleton to which the EOA will delegate to through the proxy, which means that the EOA account is now a safe account. Nice. So this is the most important storage slot. We won't go through the other ones, but what we can do is we can inspect the account at the Pactra Explorer. Yeah, let's go and see what's there. So I copy and paste the address of the account into the Pactra Definite Explorer. And I open the page and what can I see here? You can see here that um, the account is now delegated. If you go into the contract section, you can see the code for the EOA is spitting out some numbers. And it means that the EOA is now converted into smart account. Amazing. So this address or this bytecode here should be the same address as our proxy. This is correct. So the first three bytes are some special bytes which don't... These ones? Yeah. Actually, these first three bytes, EF0100, are that EF is a band opcode. And except the first three bytes, you can see the address of the proxy. So this A522 should be the same address we see here. And we see the proxy which is deployed has the same address. Right. Nice. So we can also inspect this address, which is the proxy. Yeah. With our bytecode. Yes. And I guess we can also inspect the singleton address, address. which would be here. Strike. This one, CF, CF and so on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's copy and paste this over with 0x. Uh, zero 0x and this address. So this is now the smart contract code that executes when the EOA is called as a smart account. Yeah. Nice. It's not verified yet, but um, maybe we verify it for the users that want to check it out. Perfect. So now we turn this EOA into a smart account. Cool. But it still has a private key, right? So better don't lose your private key. Yeah, users can still delegate to other accounts using this private key. So it's, it still needs to be um, kept securely. Right. So this was the this was the address and the EOA can always change the uh, delegation designator. Correct, right. Nice. Let's have some fun. Let's do something that an EOA could never do before. Yeah, so we have one of the scripts where you could patch multiple transactions into one. For example, you can send ethers to multiple recipients in one single transaction. 
and also have a, that transaction being sponsored by some other account. Amazing. So we can set a sponsored, batched transaction with multiple transactions in it from an UA now. Correct. Nice. How can we do this with your POC? So let's go into the script and see what it does. So I go into a source scripts batch execute number three because we want to send a batch execute transaction. Again, we have some imports and a setup function for the safe smart contracts and the main function, which is of interest for us now. Yeah, so in the function, you can see that we have a meta transaction object, which is an array of transactions, which will be executed through a multi-call. So this is an array of different transactions. It sends one ether to this address and one ether to this address. And you can imagine that this also could be the token approval for a protocol and the deposit function in one call or multiple other calls. So this means huge UX improvements for end users. We also do something fun because we send some balance from the relayer to the EUA because remember the EUA doesn't have any guess. All of these transactions are sponsored. So then we pack these transactions into this multi-send and send it as the relayer. How can I execute the script? You can go into readme, copy the instructions from there. And copy and paste it into my terminal. Let's have a look. Yeah, we are still waiting for the transaction to be mined. 15 seconds block time. And here we go. The transaction got mined. So this is now a sponsored batched transaction sent by an EOA. So now we want to inspect the transaction. So I copy and paste the transaction hash into the PACFA inspector. Because the contracts are not verified, the logs are not very useful. So we go into the state changes. And what can we see here? We can see a bunch of uh, transfer of ethers that we intended to do in the transaction. And you can just see that there are two addresses received one ether each. So this address received ether and this address received ether. It's the 4D address that we set in this transaction here and it is the 00, 0 and d 47 e address which we set here. So we see that we could send a batch transaction with this EOA and this is amazing because this has not been possible before ERP 7702. So this is it from our side. We hope you enjoyed this video. You can clone the repo onto your local machine and follow along with the video if you want to test it out yourself and experiment with the 7702 features. We hope that you choose safe as the smart account because it's better proven, it's very secure, it's very usable and has this huge ecosystem of modules and 7579 modules. Thank you very much, Akshay, for programming the POC and showcasing it to our viewers here. Thank you. It was great to show what we have in the house when 7702 gets launched. Yeah, right. We are looking forward for the future that gets closer to full account section. We wish you a great day. Ciao and ciao, Akshay. Ciao.